Extreme Trends presents An 8-Year-Old Boy Disappears Every Night. Okay, but like already, what's going on with the spacing in that sentence? Every night, secretly follows, learns a... Then Dad secretly follows him and learns the tear-jerking secret. Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. Do what he said, but instead, do it for me on my channel. Because I have the most heartwarming stories on all of the YouTube. People know about the story of how Noah built an ark. I mean, they do be knowing that, not gonna lie. That can give the animals the protection they need because he wanted them to be safe from the great flood that would later be sent to the world. Many people came to ridicule Noah and his family for building something that extraordinary in the form of an ark. The legend about Noah and the ark was are they going to reach a point or is this just going to be a Bible study session? Resembles the story of this young boy who mysteriously disappears at night, not to build an ark of his own, but to do something also exciting. Drugs. He's doing drugs. It is common to think that children aren't capable of doing something remarkable. Hold up, did he just dab? ...or significant due to their immature thinking and physical capability. Just because someone is little means they can't make a change in the world. Yeah, kids suck. In reality, that's not always right, because the truth is anyone can make a difference, even a young child. An eight-year-old boy named Ken was beginning to get pretty suspicious of his actions, as witnessed by his father, because he was spending several hours every day away from the house. Chill that, he's just getting freaking stoned. Not even a single clue was known of what he was really up to. His father immensely trusts him, but he had no idea what he was doing. Curiosity got the best of him, and he decided to follow his son to the drug dealer so he could get more drugs. And to see what was really going on with all this time spent outside. Alas, his heart turned to puddle. Hey boss, you might want to get that checked out. When he finally discovered what his son was really up to, he saw Ken together with their dog. How far away do they keep their dog? I mean, there's like inside dogs, inside pets. There's outside pets, which sleep in the yard. Is this like a an hour away pet or something? Because this kid's gone for hours a day just to play with their dog. That he was taking for a walk. But aside from a simple task being done, he also saw some stray dogs being fed by Ken. He was tremendously proud of his son's act of kindness. He secretly took a snap of him. And then his son reminded him that he did not actually ask for consent to take the picture, so his son, Ken, then forced him to delete it. And it went viral on social media. The people commended and praised Ken for doing such a gracious deed. And it does not only stop there. They even began to send donations to show their unconditional support for this cause. Ken narrated how he was grateful for those people who donated money when they saw his pictures. They were a massive help for him to earn money. That's enough in getting the dogs off the street to be fed. Not only to be fed with simple food, but even going as far as giving them high quality canned food. My dog doesn't even get high quality canned food. And providing them the necessary veterinary care. With the joint efforts of Ken and the people that aided his cause, the dogs finally gained a lot of weight and were healed from their skin diseases and other open wounds. Their fur even started growing back to its normal and healthy state. The thing is though about this is this story is like, it's, it's a good story. This, this kid did a really good thing. I'm not dissing that kid's story. I'm dissing the way that this YouTuber told the story. Because if this story is true, which I'm pretty sure it is, this guy, this YouTuber who was talking about it, he had nothing to do with it, so that's what I'm just saying. The young boy's dream and aspiration to save more lives began to skyrocket. This kid looks like he wants to take lives, not save them. It went on to realize what he wanted to achieve with the continuous donation that he was still getting. He then went to open up a shelter to house more stray animals. He proved to his father that it would not take a long time for him to earn enough money to build a small animal shelter. The dream came to life, and before long, Ken was able to lease a 10,000 square foot piece of property. Damn, how many donations did he get? He named it Happy Animals Club, wherein it is a non-profit and non-kill shelter. Which is across the street from sad animal shelters, where they actually profit off of killing animals. It was also the sole functioning registered animal shelter in the region. Ken was just a mere boy, but he was already making an impact and the right kind of noise. We're all just making the wrong kind of noise, but Ken... Ken is over there making the right kind of noise. Not only for the animals, but also for his community. He makes sure all the animals are given the best type of care and love. Animals were never meant to be confined in cages, unless it is for health reasons. The shelter- 
then shows a bunch of dogs in a cage. The was designed to give animals the freedom and comfort they can attain as much as possible. They were also fed a well-balanced diet, ranging from premium dog or cat food to cooked fresh dog food. In Their worst meals are better than my dog's best meals. In the Happy Animal Club's kitchen. They treat their dogs so much like people, they probably let the dogs run the kitchen themselves. Mostly, Ken applies his belief that everyone should do what they can in this shelter. Ken aspires to save every animal that ends up in the city pound, and makes it the shelter's mission to make animals happy, loved, and given the utmost care. They treat their dogs better than my parents treat me. Without compromising the animal's happiness to ensure them a better and more comfortable life, Ken's Happy Animal Club shelter isn't just for those familiar furry friends. He doesn't choose what animals to rescue or need a safe home. No, discrimination is not in his vocabulary. Watch him still be racist towards the black people. He even admitted a cow and her calf that was close to dying due to being abused. Man, that cow's gonna eat the dogs. It started to be just a simple act of kindness by taking his dog for a walk, which turned into something admirable and exceptional for a simple boy. If a kid proclaims that he wants to make a change in the world, keep in mind that they can. Yeah, but usually kids want to rule the world or turn everything into candy. Encouragement and support are all they need. Ken still lives as an average 8-year-old boy who plays with his friends and goes to school, but what makes him different is that he would see to it himself to save some time for his shelter and make sure its mission and purpose is being fulfilled. I think if most people owned a shelter, they'd also be checking up on it. Like what this nonprofit sanctuary does, Ken well, this video was total clickbait. This, all the title and thumbnail showed was this kid sneaking out and the dad trying to track him down. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good story. The YouTuber who actually walked us through it, that's what I'm making fun of once again. And yeah, thanks for watching.